The Man Cave. If you guys followed along um, through my previous videos, you saw how I built this man cave last year. And um, I've been actively using it literally every day for the last um, eight months. And originally I built this room to um, reload ammo in, you know, a temperature controlled room to reload ammo. And it really has turned into so much more, you know. Um, my career sort of um, went more towards the path of photography and filmmaking. And um, I'm able to uh, utilize this room for, for that, editing. Uh, do a lot of uh, videos um, for work out here. Um, Incorporated some drop cloths to actually do photography out here. It, it's 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 really cool and I dig it and the and the reason for the video honestly is uh, I get a question at least once a week, you know um, about uh, The finish on the inside like what I done did to the walls and um, the mini split heater air air conditioner that I have in here and so I just thought I'd make a, a quick a quick video on um, you know the way this is uh, turned out for me here and uh, like I said I'm I'm out here every day I uh, especially with this COVID thing um, I, I spend less time at the office and more time here which I've completely converted this into um, a home office and um, and, and studio, you know, um, for photography. Um, a lot of editing goes on out here. But yeah, let me just uh, give you another little uh, quick tour and uh, show, show you what I'm doing here. All righty, so let's start with the size of the building. I built it 10 by 20, 10 wide, 20 long. And I insulated the entire thing with R19 and I used quarter inch plywood for the sheeting on the walls on the inside and then I burnt them with a torch just took a torch and burn them just to give it that you know antique kind of cabin like feel I wanted a warm feeling um, and I think I achieved it. Maybe a little too dark, but you know, it's better than just raw wood, I think. Now on the ceiling, I used repurposed rusty corrugated sheet metal. And I think that turned out pretty cool. I pulled that off an old awning that I had and saved it for a while and then used it in here. I also went all the way around um, down here about four feet high all the way around the entire building on the inside that corrugated sheet metal there um, I have carpet about three quarters of the place is carpet um, over there where you would do you know gunsmithing or or uh, reloading is uh, a rubber floor a quarter inch rubber floor I'll show you that in a second you know, as far as the stuff I have on the walls, pretty much all of my hobbies and interest and 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 toys and stuff are are out here. Uh, a lot of my mounts or my let's call them trophies, <laughs> um, I have out here. You know, my uh, a European mount of a deer I shot. Um, 
that's actually the first traditional um, buck that I've ever taken right there. Uh, you know, and that's my largest buck that I've shot. Uh, that was with a compound bow. But, you know, as far as the decor goes, it's just that type of stuff. You know, my outdoorsy stuff. You know, there's all my long bows. Uh, I also have a uh, real nice uh, couch. Like a love seat. Real comfortable out here. Uh, I have a... Uh, Nice TV. All this stuff over here is uh, is camera and film film gear. That's just kind of thrown there for right now. But the door, I didn't mention the door. The door is just a 30 inch uh, steel door. Uh, that right there is my uh, thermostat for my mini split AC heater. I'll show you that in a second. But uh, yeah, that's as far as the interior. That's 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 what we got. I'll turn you around. Here. Uh, okay, so uh, turning around here, this is uh, where the, where the office itself is, and where you know where the reloading bench and all that is. I, I have this real nice table that comes out, a couple benches here or stools, I should say. There's a couple tripods, a gimbal over there. Um, I have carpet on the countertops. Makes it real nice. I'm doing with stuff except for over here on the reloading bench I have you know a um sort of a like linoleum on there but yeah here's my uh here's my bench uh it's a full single stage setup here uh for reloading and uh with all my manuals powder all the goodies that you would have for uh for reloading um, I also do a lot of, uh, you know, not drastic or major gunsmithing, but I, I, I do my sh fair share of uh, gunsmithing out here. Uh, you know, I've got a small vice set up. I have a, uh, a toolbox down there. This is really came in handy here. This locks too. But anyway, you know, like right here, I'm... Right now, working on a um, building a uh, P80 Glock 19, and uh, like I mentioned before, the floor. This is uh, it's half inch rubber, so you I mean you can drop stuff on here, won't damage, but no static on the on the um, on the floor, and no static on the counter. That's why there's no carpet on here. That's what I was going for. I uh, did never, never did finish my um, cabinets here. I was going to put open. I just never got around to that. But here's where the, the full office that I was talking about is. Uh, I, um, I do everything here off this Mac. And this particular one I just use for my um, security stuff right here that's the security cameras that i'm doing uh, i got the night owl i think it's called but uh you know just the like i said the outdoorsy uh decor got a lot of my antiques and stuff you know everything that that you would have in the house i brought out here got john wayne gotta love the duke and uh this is where i uh yeah, like I mentioned before, like with the, uh, using this as a studio for photography, like just, you know, pictures, I, I, right up here, I, um, attach this backdrop cloth. It's like a backdrop and, um, I'm able to really produce some really good things. This, you know, I'll show you the light that I use, um, when I'm doing any kind of, uh, photography or film in, in this room, um, I use the the Aperture 120D Mark II light with the uh, the light dome for the softbox. This thing is just a beast. It's uh, it's great. And um, with the uh, back drop cloth that I use, I'm really able to um, do some pretty good uh, photos 
I'm real happy with that light. But you know, and it's it's it just turned this place into a studio. Studio lighting for sure. Really happy. Okay. Um, if I did not have this AC heat pump, then this would just be a insulated shed. <laughs> so this is what what makes it. And this thing is amazing. It's not terribly expensive. It's not hard to install. And you set it and just forget forget about it. You know, like right now, I, I have it set for 72, and it just stays 72 degrees in here. It's just that simple. It's it's almost just like central heat and air. It uh, it's super quiet. It just it just works. Now, um, of course, this is going to be its first winter but for summer it it just worked like a champ i think i had it set for 69 and it just it stayed between 68 and 69 degrees in here um perfect now um i'm i'm hoping uh that it just stays this 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 perfect you know so far so good it's um it just like right now it's got just a slight little uh bit of heat coming out of there it just maintains 72 degrees really happy with that now uh i'll show you some photos of it what it looks like on the outside but uh very happy with this now it is a 9000 btu and of course the reason for 9000 btu is because it's just a small small building here you know 200 square feet is what it is so and this works out perfect for 200 square feet okay that's gonna do it for me for my little uh, show and tell of the man cave I just wanted to point out you know this is only a 200 square foot building you know 10 by 20 relatively small and uh, you can see I, I've got everything you would need uh, crammed in here you know I still kind of got a little bit of room um, you know, I've got the a complete working studio. I have my office, uh, you know, a little entertainment system there with the couch and TV. All of my hobbies in here. Uh, it's really worked out for me pretty good, you know. Uh, so small spaces. If you plan things out correct, uh, you can get it all in there. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. I'm going to get out of here. See ya.